Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video, we have an Asus laptop. This one, it's an Asus VivoBook X543B version. It's an AMD A9 processor. It comes with an 8 gig of RAM and one terabyte of the mechanical hard drive. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to change your mechanical hard drive to an SSD drive. All right, so let's get into it. First thing first, you wanna flip it over. You wanna grab yourself an opening tool. I use the iFixit tool set. You're gonna be using bit number, Z Philips number zero. So what we wanna do, we wanna remove all the screws on the bottom cover. The longest screws are the two back right here, the middle ones. The next shorter one are the corner back ones and the mid towards the front one all the same size. So this portion is the same size as screws, the longest screws and the medium screws. All right, now that we remove, you guys can see the front is screws the same size, the two corner ones and the mid back. All right, once we got all the screws removed, what you wanna do, you wanna open up your laptop in 45 degree angle. Next, you wanna grab yourself an opening tool. I use a guitar pick. You wanna stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, just like that, you squeeze it in there. And then you wanna just wiggle it around. You're gonna hear clicks. Do all around. Go front to the sides. You need to hear those clicks. You don't need to stick the guitar pick all the way in, just the, the tip. There. Once you got it loose a little bit, the back you don't need to do it. What you need to do here, you want to open it up in 45 degree angle. Don't pull it up because there's the two cables that you need to disconnect. The touchpad here and the keyboard flexor back there. To remove this one, you just have to lift up this white cover over here. Just lift it up 90 degrees. And then the cable is just gonna slide out. This, on this one, the black cover has to come up 90 degrees and the cover will just, the flex cable will come out. Now you can go ahead and pick up the top cover. The palm rest, we call that. All right, down here, you guys can see the hard drive is just right over here. There is only one screw holding it right now, so remove this screw right there. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this screw, Phillips screw. So we're gonna pull the hard drive towards the back, empty spot, spot right here, slide it. You're gonna see the gap opening right there. Once you see that gap, go ahead and just pick up the hard drive. There's the hard drive, Toshiba hard drive, one terabyte. So what you need to do, go in the description and grab yourself an SSD drive. I don't have any SSD drive lying around here. So they're the same size, same connector and the same size, all the SSD drives. So grab your SSD drive. And what you wanna do here, you wanna remove the caddy from this one by removing four screws. So unscrew the four screws right here, take the hard drive out Grab the new hard drive, put it right in there, and the screws should match on the same. Put it in the same position, SATA connectors at the same place. Don't put it upside down, otherwise it's not gonna go through. So let's say that you just got the new drive in here, the mechanical one or the SSD drive here. Then what you wanna do, you wanna place it down in an offset position with a gap right in between the connectors all the way back here and then you wanna push it towards the connector, slide it down. And make sure that it goes all the way in. The screw hole matches right there. Grab the screw. And then go ahead and tighten that. Now that it's tightened up, what you wanna do, grab the palm rest. So you wanna grab the palm rest, put the back end, align the back end right there, and then 
bring it down in a 45 degree angle hold it with your hand open like this and what you want to do right now is start with the keyboard flex cable right there you want to slide it open the hinge this black hinge open it up and slide it right from the back end make sure it goes all the way through I have the camera right in my face I can see there you go once you have it in there you want to hold it with one finger with the other finger you just want to close the lid close it down now that's in place don't pull it up too much now with the same thing with the connector for the touchpad grab it open the lid and slide it underneath there you go and with the other finger just close the cover right on top once you close it you can just go ahead and open it up what you want to do you want to grab the front end and you want to pinch it you want to hit clicks pinch the corners to the all the way to the back and then press down in, in this position there we go and that's how you upgrade your mechanical hard drive to an SSD drive. And the last thing is to put back the screws that you remove. Remember where they go. The longest one, they go in the back. The mid-size screw corners and the rest goes in the front end. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you guys have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. And thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in my next video.